started Watch It about uh, three years ago with the concept. It started off with a with an accident, actually. Uh, one of the founders was uh, cruising uh, on his friend's boat. He wasn't the captain at the time, but while they were cruising in a very nice and elegant boat, uh, they had the pleasure to crash into a reef. Uh, luckily, no one got hurt in this accident, but there was quite severe damage to the boat. And then when they went back to, to shore and start to um, uh, investigate the, the accident, they, the first thing they thought is, how come nothing stopped us from making this mistake? Uh, so they tried to see if there's with all the navigation equipment and the maps and the sonars and the radars, and still the boat was uh, kind of misleading the captain to go directly into a rock, um, which doesn't make sense when you think about it, that every car, modern car today knows how to alert you, airplane can do it for years, uh, and the boat, even a very expensive boat, still uh, doesn't allow you to make mistakes that can be really dangerous. Um, so this is how we started. We started with a search to see if there's such a solution available. We were kind of surprised to realize that there's none. Uh, and then we thought, okay, we need to change it to, to create a new safety standard to prevent such accidents. We work a bit differently. Our uh, concept is that the boat has a lot of sensors. You have a map, you have a sonar, you have a radar, you have a fleet camera. Modern boats, many of them already have all these things. So the problem is not exactly with the sensors. The problem is with the data. And our logic is that you need to optimize the data and provide a better and proactive uh, actions to the captain to help him. So what we are doing is collecting all the data from the existing sensors. And today each sensor works in in kind of a silo. They don't talk to each other, there's no cross data, and there's nothing that goes in to analyze all the information together. And that's where we come into the picture. We take all the data from the different sensor, we fuse it into one uh, database, and then from this uh, an analysis, we identify the most recent risk for the boat. So once we built something that we call a dynamic alert zone, it changes according to the boat condition, so if you go very fast or very slow, it's a different zone. We take all the information in it and we identify which obstacle is going to danger the boat or is dangering already the boat and the captain needs to be aware of. What we do is we, we collect all the real-time data, we analyze it in real time and then we give the alert before the accident happens to allow the captain enough time to stop it uh, we call it the stopping time uh, uh, to be long enough in order for him also, including the response time and all the other uh, aspect of the, the action to, to align to, pre to prevent the, the collision. Now, the way it's being displayed is we connect, we have our own uh, computing system, but we connect into the existing boat screens, uh, which makes it more convenient for the people because they don't need to change anything on how they operate the boat. And they will get a pop-up alert only when something is happening on the existing screen. So if everything is fine and there's no risk and no danger, so there will be nothing. The system will work on the background and the captain doesn't need to do anything about it. It will work automatically. Uh, but once something will happen, it will pop up on the screen that he's already using and will tell him, hey, watch out. Over here and in this distance and this direction, there's an obstacle that's dangering your boat. Today, we are already working with Simrad, uh, mm -hmm. meaning with Navigo Group. So Simrad, BNG, we can integrate into their system. We can connect basically to all uh, exist most common screen. It's one of the things we realized very soon at the early stage that no one wants to put another screen on his yeah. boat and they want to see the alarm on uh, the existing screen. And that's exactly what we did. Interesting, because in the beginning, we thought we are aiming to the bigger yachts, the mm -hmm. 30 uh, feet and above. Uh, but then we realized that definitely these boats need this kind of alert system. But in the small boat vessels, in the uh, chase boat, tenders, that today you can find extremely fast one and sophisticated boats, there's more accident than even the bigger ones. Because yes. uh, normally the one... The person is operating the, the, these boats are not necessarily the most experienced people. It goes extremely fast. And so people don't really bother to look at all the sensors that they have. 
And we realized that we need to cover also this market because there is a real need over there. So today, we, it's not about the size, actually. It's about the minimum uh, requirement of equipment. So if you have a GPS on board and a chart plotter, we should be there as well. The other aspect that we are working forward is also to, to analyze all the data that is being collected in order to create, you know, it's a big word, but kind of AI detection uh, even before things happen, according to the past uh, accidents about how the captain is behaving, and especially relevant for uh, uh, charter companies that they want to know. It's very common, by the way, you can find it today in automotive. If you rent a car today, there's some application that will measure how you drive. So that's another direction we can do with the same. Th that's correct. You can say that we were inspired by the automotive yeah. industry. Uh, the solution we provide is a bit different because the car and a, and a boat has different uh, way of uh, maneuvering and also different yeah. kind of sensors. But we believe that people expect to have such a thing. It doesn't make sense that you have it on your car. It doesn't have to be an expensive car. And then you go to your boat and you don't have it. It's part of how we behave already. And if people get used to have it on their car, they will expect to see it on their boat as well. We can install a boat on new boats, definitely, and also on retrofit, meaning that we can put it on any existing boat. And the installation process is quite simple. It takes, let's say, between one, one to two hours, should not take more. And it requires installation of our computing system and connection of the data through the NMEA 2000 uh, network of the system. Uh, this can be done, uh, normally we prefer to do it through our partners in each uh, location. Of course, we can also do it by ourselves and it doesn't require any special skills or special tools. It's quite simple and straightforward. Uh, so first of all, there's our website and uh, we're also active in all the social media. Uh, where we also present the new development and new features that we release and also a little bit more of explanation of what we do. Uh, so